welcome to day four of our prayer and fasting here at Expect Hope Church. My name is Pastor Terry, and I am so excited to uh, be here and sharing the word with you this morning to keep us moving on uh, with this fast. It can get a little daunting at times, but um, you've made it to day four, so yay for you. That's exciting. Um, every day is a victory for us, I know. Um, just to be real and honest, you know, every day is a new challenge. So um, we're on day four here, and we are going to be talking about praying and fasting for perseverance today. So if you are feeling weary along the way, or you're feeling like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can make it another day in this Daniel's fast, um, I just want to encourage you that there's perseverance in the Lord and uh, we're just going to look into that and what the Bible says about it here for a few moments this morning and we're going to get on to our day and continue out this fast strong and we're going to just have a good time. Um, so the Bible says in Philippians 3.14 that we should press on toward the goal to win the prize. Amen. That's a, such a good scripture. Um, I love it because it it's just screams perseverance. Um, so as we're continuing this fast, as we're moving forward, you know, it can sometimes get discouraging along the journey. Um, maybe you're believing for something big. Maybe you've put great expectation on the Lord for um, just your prayer time and seeing your sacrifice in this praying and fasting time. And when we don't see the answers immediately, it can get discouraging. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever been there before, but I certainly have. Um, so I just want to encourage you to keep moving forward. Keep pressing on toward the goal, as the scripture says. Um, you know, I don't know what it is. Have any of you ever believed for something that you haven't seen the Lord's answer on right away? I know that we have big dreams and desires and expectations for Expect Hope Church and things that we know that the Lord has spoken to us and we know things that are going to come to pass, but they haven't yet. And so um, maybe you've been praying about something for a long time. Maybe it's restoration of a relationship or maybe it's a healing in your body or maybe it's a financial miracle. Maybe uh, it could be a hundred different things. No matter what it is, keep persevering, keep pressing toward the mark. Um, you know, because it's easy to get lost in those moments and say, you know, Lord, are you hearing my prayers? Do you hear when I cry out to you? Trust in the word. Trust and know that he hears exactly what your cry of your heart is. Um, because it can easily lead to doubt and frustration, which to any one of us, that can be detrimental. That can make us think, Lord doesn't hear my prayers, so I'm, I'm going to stop praying. I'm going to, maybe I didn't hear him. Maybe... Uh, that's not what he has for me. Um, it makes you want to quit when you don't see the answer. But if I can get one thing through to you today, one thing that you'd hear from my heart, it is to keep persevering, keep pressing on toward the goal. Um, James 4, 8 says, come near and God will come near to you. So every time we take a step toward him, he takes a step towards us. So as you continue on your prayer and fasting over these next few days, um, as we gear on towards day 10, um, just keep drawing near to him and he will draw near to you. Hebrews 11:6 6 says, he rewards those who earnestly seek him. How, how often are you seeking him on a normal basis? You know, this is a great time, these 10 days of prayer and fasting, but are you seeking him earnestly outside of these 10 days? Um, these are just good challenging thoughts for each one of us to contemplate and to think on and to pray on. But just trust and know that God is with you. No matter what situation you're facing, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you. He hears your prayers. When we draw near to him, he draws near to us. He rewards those who earnestly seek him. There's life in the word. There's life when we read our Bible. Um, you know, you may not see the fruit of your prayers immediately. And if there's anything that I know about, um, I don't want to say the generation because I think it's more of just a culture of our, of our world that we live in right now. We want instant gratification. We want it right now. But that's not how the Lord works. The Lord works in His own timing and we have to trust that His timing is perfect. So just trust and know that he's working, even if you don't see the results immediately, even if the answer is not exactly how you thought it should be, um, but there's power in persevering. There's power when we keep 
pressing on. So as you face the last remaining days of our fast here, keep pressing on, keep diving into your word, keep reading the scriptures, keep pouring into yourself, um, and we hope that you'll join us on Wednesday the 10th when we come together and we are going to lay hands on all of the prayer requests that we've um, laid out before the Lord for this time of praying and fasting as a church community. And just keep pressing on. You got this. It's day four. You keep going. Keep, keep moving forward. We've got this together as a church body. And God has us on the other side and he's waiting for us. So... Be blessed, have a wonderful day, and keep persevering. God bless you.